Hey y'all, welcome back to No Case Today, and this is episode number 12. I'm Ella, the host. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Uh, this is the second take because I was filming and happy and talking and then my camera turned off, so. We're starting over because I got aggravated. <laughs> Disclaimer, my son is up, he's in the living room playing, so he might make an appearance or make some noise, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> it happens. Okay. I'm going to try this again and try not to get too frustrated. Welcome everybody. Welcome to the new subscribers. I've had a few more new ones and that's pretty awesome. I'm glad people are subscribing. I'm still a little surprised people actually want to watch me and listen to me talk a lot. Because I feel like I babble a whole lot. But whatever. I say that a lot. <laughs> Welcome to all my returning subscribers. I think that's a better way to say it than saying old. Which I've been having to refrain from saying before. But, um... And I love getting comments from everybody. I've, I've been getting a lot of comments lately, and that's cool. I love comments. It's fun to connect with people. That's kind of the reason I wanted to make videos is to connect with more yarn, yarny type people. But I'm just going to hop in because today I'm hoping it's not going to be super long because I don't really have a whole lot to talk about. But I don't know. I might babble at the end and make it another 30 minute long video, which I actually like the long ones. I like watching other people's long ones. Anyways, finished objects. My first finished object, you might be able to see poking out a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is the frog on a pumpkin? That's what the pattern is called. And the pattern is written by Mary Smith. It's pay for pattern. I think she's got coupon code going on right now. I will link the pattern below and you can see if she she almost always has coupon code. She's a lot like Heidi Yates. There's always a way to get a discounted coupon uh, pattern. He's got a little spider hanging from his hat. Well, I assume it's a he. I've been calling it a he. <laughs> and he's just sitting on a pumpkin. He's just cute. It's, I made it as part of a cow that she's hosting on her Facebook group, but he's living in my living room on our mantle as a Halloween decoration, along with the ghost that I had in the fair. He's actually on the floor right now because Jesse was playing with him earlier. And I don't want him to play with the spot the frog because I'm afraid he'll pull the spider off because it's basically just stuck in the hat and down. I wove it in a little bit in the top of his head, but not a lot. He was really quick and simple actually pattern and I really enjoyed making him and I'd like to make another one. Maybe just the frog without a pumpkin just to have sitting near him but different colors. I think it'd be cool. And maybe even a different type of hat. Because this is more like a witch's hat. So I can make it like a wizard hat or something. I don't know. Anyways, he's made with 100% scraps. I didn't have to open up anything new which is good because I am trying to use up some of my scraps. For no reason really because I'm going to keep buying yarn when I want it. But it's nice to not have a ton of little balls because this closet there's a tote in the floor that's full of just the leftover bits of projects that I've been pulling out to make my amigurumis and things with. I hear little feet. <laughs> Anyways, this yarn I'm not exactly sure what it's called. I bought it at a store that's no longer open and it's a blend. It's like wool and some acrylic or something like that. It's itchy, it's uncomfortable, I don't like it so it's just gonna be for amigurumi bits. His body is made out of glow worm. He's very bright, by the way, I, and there's a lot of windows in here, so you may not be able to see him very well. But because this is like a neon color, and he's a neon color. Anyways, his body's made with Red Heart Super Saver glow worm, and his spots, which I accidentally covered some of them up with his hat, but oh well, is spring green, which I have a ton of spring green. Then just black and white, and I'm not sure what's the color, but I know it's Red Heart. And this is Red Heart. I don't know the color. And then the spider is just black with leftover orange. I really liked him. I think he's just a cute little Halloween decoration and I'll be pulling him out every year and sticking him somewhere. We might be buying a house next year so hopefully I'll have more room to put stuff because we live in a pretty small apartment. Anyways, my next finished object is da -da -da, my s'more cuddler finally finished. I feel like I've been working on him for like three weeks. I may have been three weeks. I don't know. He's a little disheveled because he's been used by me and my son. Jesse likes to play with him. So he's, he's already starting to get that fuzzy look of being used. And his stuffing's been making its way to the body part. Which is fine because it's a pillow. It's meant to be, you know, used. I like it. I use it on the couch a lot. And Jesse, will, if he sees me like laying there using it, he'll come and like rip it out from underneath my head and walk off with it. This is also scraps. And this is all Red Heart. All of it's Red Heart Super Saver except for the chocolate color. It's Red Heart with Love. I think it's called Coffee. I don't know. It's just Red Heart with Love, the brown color. 
he was super easy. I did put chocolate on both sides. The pattern just calls for one, but then it says you can make two to put it on both sides. And I put it on both sides because, I mean, when you make a s'more, there's chocolate all the way around it, typically. I do usually, when I make my s'mores, I put the chocolate on the bottom and then put the marshmallow on top of it. But I thought it kind of simulated hair, so it was just cuter on top. I even thought about trying to connect the white and the chocolate together just to make it easier, but either way, it's made and it's, I like it. <laughs> the pattern did call for um, safety eyes, but I didn't have big safety eyes. And the mouth was supposed to be felt, but I didn't want to glue a mouth on because I figured Jesse would peel it off. So I just stitched the mouth on and the eyes, I just made magic loops or circles, whatever they're called. Magic rings, whatever. <laughs> and put some stitches in it and made it just like his cheeks only larger. I like him. I think he's cute and he's you know, usable, so that's always good. That's all my finished objects. Technically I have a half finished object, but I'll talk about that in my whips, which I'm about to talk about right now. Actually I need to say something about that s'more. It's called a s'more cuddler. <laughs> the designer is Kat? No. Donna Beavers. She has a ton of cuddler uh, patterns and the majority of them are free and they're very cute. There's some more that I want to make for sure. There's some more that I want to make. Huh, fun. There's still gnats in here. I freaking hate them books. Anyways, it's a free pattern and I'll link it below too. Alright. Whips. Let me scroll down on my computer. I'll talk about the grease one first. And I feel like I'm repeating myself over and over and over and over about the grease pattern. But I'm going to be working on it for a while, so... I guess you and me will have to just get used to that. <laughs> Alright, last time I showed this, I think I had the G and a little bit of the R. Maybe. I can't remember. I should have marked it. But now I have almost the whole word grease. All right, I'm working on the last E in it, and that's part, the beginning of the L. This isn't even halfway done yet, and it's already like half my wingspan. <laughs> So it's going to be a very wide blanket, and then you have to account for the border. So, But I'm okay with that. You know, it's going to look awesome when it's done. Even though I do think my corner of the corner is a little sloppy, but this is my first corner of the corner project. It's not supposed to be perfect. I'm going to love it regardless. So, I hate red and white at this moment right now, though, because my last grease square was red and white, the Rydell High one, and then this one's red and white. And I'm just sick of red and white. I want to get done with this. I've been working like crazy on it the last since yesterday. Yesterday I picked it back up. I hadn't touched it since the last video right before that. And then I, I did from here all the way to like right here-ish yesterday. And then this much I just did a few minutes ago before I started filming. And that's why there's ends. I've been doing really good at tying in my ends through this so I don't save them for last. Because with all my other parts of this blanket so far, I've waited to tie the ends to the end. And it it stinks because you're getting, you know, it's getting so happy that you're almost, you know, you're decreasing and you're almost to the end and then you finish and you have like a million ends to weave in. So I've been trying to weave them in as I go. But, yeah, that's all I need to say about that, I guess. I'm going to chuck it in its box. That is the Grease Crochet Along that is hosted by Chaos and Chop Suey. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but... Some of y'all may not have seen me talk about it. It's paid for pattern, but it's worth it. You know, to me, it's worth it. It is on the higher end of pattern prices, in my opinion. It's $8. But when I bought it, there was a coupon code, and she may have a code available now. I don't know. I'll link it below, and you can figure it out if you want it. <laughs> it's very fun. She's also got some other cows. She's got another paid for one that's Friends, like the TV show. And then... I don't know if it was, it's still free, but it was free. Her first one was the Gilmore Girls one, and it was free. And I did start that one last year, but I think I was pregnant and then just had him. So uh, I quit. <laughs> I ended up frogging it. And Gilmore Girls isn't even my favorite show ever, so I'm not like too um, sad about that. All right, my next whip is the Naturally Southern Scarf by Kathy Lashley. It's a free pattern. I like it a little. Oh, I done moved it. I'm, I was talking about it in the last one, and it's it was right here, my marker. This is how much I got done this week, from here to here. I did that twice, technically, so I got twice that much done, because I did it, and then I realized I messed up, so I had to frog it back, and then I did it again. And this is where I got to today. I was working on it at my mom's. 
this is a very simple pattern. I don't know why it's taking me so long, but I guess because it's getting bigger and bigger that I it's, um, I don't know, it's just annoying. I kind of wish it got started big and got smaller. I do like this pattern though. It's real simple. It's the, uh, it's the same thing over and over. It's two rows repeated. It's sugar. Here's a toddling over here. <laughs> it's made with, um, Lion Brain Mandala and Genie. I have that much left. It's a lot. I'm kind of hoping... Yeah, Mama's talking. I'm kind of hoping that the majority of the skein or cake gets used before the pattern's done just because I don't like having little remnants of yarn like this that need that need a lot of it to look good. What are you doing? Yeah. Mama's talking to the camera. Yeah. But yeah, I'm happy with this and I, don't, I have until Halloween to get it done so it's okay if it's slow poking. I am using a stitch marker that I made. I don't know how good you can see it because the room is really bright. But it's just yellow and blue beads. I'm trying to make more stitch markers. And I showed you some last week that I made. I talked about the pattern, right? Oh yeah, that is the a part of the cow uh, that's hosted by Hannah at the Cozy Cottage Crochet. What? Nope, don't you touch the computer. <laughs> um, I'm having a mood to okay. Sorry. No, hold on, Mama's play with that. <laughs> um, it's you can't have the frog because you'll rip his head off. I think. <laughs> I'm very close to the camera. I'm sorry, <laughs> Jesse, honey, go get your choo-choo train. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. If you rip his spider off, Mama's gonna get you here. I think he's getting tired. It's nice nap time. Anyways, I'm going to rush to this. <laughs> yeah, play with the frog. Yeah, you are happy now. He's already got my ghost and my... Uh... Oh, I forgot about that. My Christmas pudding. I got to get that. That's a finished object. I completely forgot about it. Because he took off with it. Anyways, the crochet along. It's also about Hannah at the Cozy Cottage Crochet. It's hosted on her Ravelry group, and I'll link it below. And in it... It's, you have until Halloween to finish your entries, and you can have as many entries as you want. And the more entries, the more chances you have of winning a prize. And how, um, what's it called? How active you are on the board. Sorry, I've been trying to squish all the gnats. Um, that's not a rock, that's a spider. <laughs> uh,. You have until Halloween to finish. I oh, already said that, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting distracted. I'm sorry. But I'm going to go ahead and talk about my other whip, and then I'll go find the pudding and talk about it. But this is a mitten. Put it on my hand. This is um, Red Heart Super Saver. It's not stripes. This came out before the stripes ones came out. I don't know what it's called. But it's called, um, I can't remember now. Neon Stripes. It's called Neon Stripes. I made a scarf and it, it, uh, pulled like this. It striped all the way down and it's so cool. I've been wearing a scarf for two winters and I probably will wear this one. And that's why I started these submissions last December is to, um, you pulled the spider off. I knew you was going to do that. You a stinky butt. Mama fix it later. I knew he's gonna get this fire off. Anyways, I made him to go with that, and I have a hat made out of um, Red Heart Black Light, which is really similar to these colors, but it's more variegated. This is like a self dropping, and it's variegated, so the colors are more <coughs> speckled. I don't know what I'm looking for, but you know, you know, people in the yarn community know the difference between self dropping and variegated. I assume. Anyways, this. Was, it's a mitten that folds back so that your fingers can come out so you can drive or text or whatever. Which is what I wanted because I want to be able to drive and text and stuff. Um, this original pattern, which I will link it below. It is, it's just called Fingerless Gloves Slash Mittens. And I couldn't find the person's name who designed it on their website. And it's crochetandknitting.com. I couldn't find anywhere on the pattern like her or his name. But the pattern I got last year, I made the cuff, thumb, and up to this pink part. And then I quit. Because I couldn't, excuse me, I couldn't figure out how to do the finger parts. The little circles around the fingers. Like the finger gloves. 
and I tried it, ripped it out, tried it, ripped it out. You know, I don't even know how many times it was. Seven, seven, eight months ago, however many months ago it was. Um, so this hand part sit in my yarn stash until now, and I've been wanting to pull it out and finish it because this part fits really well. And I went ahead and read ahead on the pattern. Now I should have done it then. I'd have mittens. And I just decided to leave out the finger part, so I just made some extra rounds right here to heighten it. And then I just went ahead and followed the pattern for the foldy part, I don't know what it's called, the mitten part. I'm a little worried that there's like a gap there, because it seems like that would be cold, so I'm going to have to go back and heighten this part. And then i got to make the whole other mitten, the whole right one. But because I talked about in my last video how I crochet backwards, kind of that this was supposed to be the right mitten, but when I followed the pattern, it came out as the left mitten. But <laughs> it doesn't matter which hand it goes on as long as this part's facing the right way. But um, anyways, I love the way it's striped because it came out in pretty, you know, stripey stripes. I'm hoping the second one comes out similar to this one. I don't care if the colors don't match up, but I hope it comes out the same pattern. But I am going to try to figure out how to fix this hole because it seems like that would be cold. And the whole point of mittens is to keep your hands warm. I love it though. I think it's cute as heck and it's going to go with my scarf perfectly. And I'm the kind of person, I don't really wear coats. Even if it gets cold coat, I wear, a, you know, like a sweatshirt and, you know, clothes. <laughs> and then a hoodie. And my hoodies 99% of the time are black. I, I'm, I was a teenager during the whole emo part of the world, so I followed that, you know. Black is one of my favorite colors. It goes with everything and, you know, it doesn't stand out and isn't flashy flashy, which is kind of funny because this kind of is. But I love black with stripes, any color stripes, or in this case, multicolor stripes. So, and I love my scarf. I should have got it out. It's almost time to get stuff like that out anyways. So, I might dig that out. My bag of scarves and hats I've made for me and my husband. And now I can make Jesse some. I made him a Christmas hat last year, but it was just when we went to look at Christmas lots. Yeah, that's my mitten. I love this mitten. I'm very proud of it and it fits good. It's not too big. It's not little. The only thing, this is when crocheting and knitting collide for me because I love crocheting, obviously. <laughs> I'm a crochet person. But I love the look of knitted hats and knitted socks and knitted mittens and things because, you know, you can make it so much finer. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but I mean, I know that it's different weights of yarn, too, but it's like harder, you know, crochet stitches are so much more bulkier than knit stitches. So you can make things like this that don't look so bulky. But I do love this mitten, and I can't wait to get the other one finished and actually get to use them this year. It's pretty cool. Check that back there. Actually, I'm getting all that in a pile. It's pretty cool. Alright, I'm going to stop right here and go find the pudding. It's somewhere in the living room, and I'll have to look up the pattern because I completely forgot about it. He took off with it. Um, it's, yeah, I'll be right back. I found the pudding. <laughs> okay, it's just a little Christmas pudding. And I'm American. I don't know if it's common, but I have no idea what Christmas pudding is. I've always heard of it. It's in Christmas songs. It's a big thing in England, I guess. I don't know. And I don't know. Europe? I don't know where it's a big thing at. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I saw this pattern and thought it was cute. And I've always wanted to try Christmas pudding because, you know, the songs and stuff. I want to know what pudding is. And I looked it up and it seems like it's got a lot of fruit and stuff in it. I don't know. But I just saw this pattern. It popped up on Ravelry. He's whining. He's tired. It popped up on Ravelry like a week ago. Maybe not even that long ago. It just says one of the new free patterns. So I was like, I'm going to make that. It's so cute. And this is all scraps again. This is Red Heart. And this isn't Red Love. This is Red Heart Coffee or something like that. One of the browns. This is like a cream color. It, it's probably looks in, looking white because it's, but it's cream color because it called for like a cream because I assume Christmas pudding has cream on it. <laughs> and there's like holly berries and leaves. And the eyes in the pattern, you're supposed to put like white felt around black safety eyes and I didn't have any white felt. I have black, green, and yellow and colors left over from the Grinch wreath that I made. But I don't have any white, which I need to get, and it's super cheap, so I need to buy some just to have on hand. So I just used some of my safety eyes that have color in them, and blue stood out the best, I thought. I have, like, blue, red, orange, and green, I think. Because if I just put black eyes on there, you couldn't see it. And I, I do need to probably put a little mouth, like a little smile. 
But this brown is darker than the brown in the pattern, I think. It, I don't know. I don't even know if it needed eyes. It would have been cute without eyes. But I don't know what Christmas pudding is, and I don't know if it's tasty, but it's cute when it's in this form. And actually, when it's made, it's cute. I looked it up on Pinterest, and it's really cute. Anyways, pattern. It's called Perry the Pudding, and the person who made it is named uh, Hannah Cooper. It's a free pattern on, looks like, topcrochetpatterns.com. He just sneezed. But I see you. Sometimes he says it after you say it. But, um... It is made of worsted weight, and the pattern calls for decay weight, so this is larger than it's supposed to be. And that's probably why it looks a little bulk. And it's funky shaped. I had it like the perfect pudding shape, according to Pinterest. <laughs> but Jesse got a hold of it, so. I just think it's cute as heck, and it would be so cute setting out on Christmas. I don't know. I don't even know what pudding is. I know I have some English. I think that's the right way to call them. <laughs> English people who watch me so they can maybe fill me in on it because I mean I guess that's the main place that it's big at is over there I feel like I, I sound racist or something when I say phrases like that I don't mean that I have nothing against English people it's just I don't know exactly what to call you unless I know where you're from but it's cute I think he's cute as heck he turned out so stinking cute and he was fast I made him in one day he's doing something He's tired. I know you're sleepy. We'll take a nap in a minute. I just think he's so cute. I'd like to make more. <laughs> I don't know what I would do with a bunch of Christmas pudding and amigurumi sitting around, but they're cute as heck. Maybe if I did make it in a smaller weight yarn, it would be small enough to be a Christmas ornament. I mean, this could be a Christmas ornament. I've got some big Christmas ornaments, and it's light enough that it wouldn't weigh the limb down too badly. But that is a finished object that I just completely forgot about earlier because my rug rat ran off with it. Toggling back off again. Uh, alright, I'm sidetracky. Alright. That's all of my finished objects and whips. I think that's pretty much everything I have to talk about. I don't really have any life updates, I don't think. I have a Christmas related one in a way. I think I talked about it last week though. I can't remember. We laid away our Christmas tree and it's our first Christmas tree together. Yeah, see, I remember saying this last week, so y'all already know. But uh, I'm excited about that. I can't wait to get it out and use it. Um, I'm going to, the way we have our layaway, what's it called? Lined up or whatever, is I'll get it out, pay it off and get it out um, the week before Thanksgiving. So that way, Thanksgiving week, I can put it up and decorate and all that stuff. Uh, probably would, in all, uh, la, la, la. all honesty, I would decorate sooner than that if I had it out. But, you know, we're just going to make payments on it so that we don't have to spend so much money in one big pop. And, yeah, that's no other life updates. My stepfather is doing better. I think he's got one more week of antibiotics to take. I'm not exactly sure how well they're doing, though, because he's still, I don't know if it's TMI. They put, like, a drain from his liver, and it's like hanging off his body. I don't know, there's probably an actual term for it. But draining out the stuff coming off of his liver and it's still draining off. So it's like, I don't know if the antibiotics are actually doing their job if stuff's still coming out a lot. So I don't know if he's going to end up having to still have surgery or what. <laughs> but uh, hopefully not. Hopefully they're doing what they're supposed to be doing and everything will be fine. I think he goes to the doctor the 26th, which is next week, yeah. It's the next one. Tuesday to um, you know get checked out and all that so hopefully that goes good I don't think there's any other updates it got hot again it was nice and pretty and fall like and but I guess it was just the hurricanes coming through because it was Harvey and then right after Irma came through our area I live in middle Tennessee so we didn't get anything bad we just got rain from both <laughs> But it was enough to cool it down, and it felt so good for day for like a week. It was like in the 60s and 70s, and now since don't throw that. <laughs> now since uh, I don't know, four days ago, it's been back in the 80s and 90s. Yeah, you got your water. He's on top of the couch, looking at the mantle, at all the stuff I just put back on it. My amigurumis. <laughs> I don't know what to do with the spider. He pulled it off the hat and took off with it. So there's a spider laying somewhere. And I'm going to see it later. I think it's a real spider probably and have a heart attack. <laughs> but, um, 
Yeah, I'm hoping it cools back down again because I love fall and winter. They're like my favorite. So I'm glad that they'll be coming back. It's getting closer to Halloween. I'm, I'm still getting stuff ready for our Halloween costumes and it's still a secret until Halloween-ish. And I don't know if I'm 100% going to do Vlogtober. I thought about it, but then I thought about all the editing that it would um, take and it's not that easy to edit. But, I don't know. I kind of would like to, though, because I like getting to know more about the people I watch on YouTube. And so I feel that some of them would like to get to know more about me and my family. And, you know, I'll label them. If I do do it, I'll label them. So, if you're only interested in the No Catchy Name Crochet Talks, it'll be No Catchy Name Crochet Talk number whatever week. <laughs> so, you could just completely bypass the other videos. Or watch them or whatever, you know. It's up to you. Uh, I guess that's about everything. That's all the life updates that I can think about. I can't think of anything else that's important <laughs> enough. I'm just waiting for Halloween to hurt and get here because once Halloween comes and goes, it's the big holiday season. Like, October is when we'll probably start buying Christmas gifts for people so that we don't have to. Our goal every year is to be completely done Christmas shopping by Thanksgiving except two people because on Thanksgiving on my side of the family we draw names to see who we have to buy for for Christmas and it's just the adults so me and Devin both draw whoever and uh, then we buy for them we have like a limit a cap so that you know so we don't have to worry about buying 20 gifts for everybody and spending tons of money you know it's just Every adult buys for a specific other adult, and then everybody buys for the kids, which at the moment there's just two. There's my nephew, Ben, who is six, and my son, who is, he'll be one and a half by the time Christmas gets here. November 1st, actually. His half birthday every year is on mine and Devin's anniversary, November 1st. Every November 1st is our anniversary, and Jesse is whatever age he is and a half. <laughs> I think that's cool. But, um... Yeah, and then Christmas season is going to be fun. I was actually talking to my mom today about Thanksgiving. Um, because we're, we're more than likely going to have it at her house again. And I was asking her to compile a list of all the food things she'll need so that I can go ahead and start buying um, a few things every week. So that once Thanksgiving gets here, we don't have to go out and buy you know, $300 worth of food. Because that would be a lot, especially right at... The Thanksgiving week, you know, everybody's out buying everything, and it's hard to get a hold of, like, sugar and turkey and stuff. So, like, in my mind, I have planned to go ahead and start buying stuff that will last until then, and then that last week, we can get the, last week or two, we can get the turkey and uh, milk and eggs and butter and all that stuff that we're going to need for the things that could go bad between now and then. Okay, I think that's all the life updates. <laughs> um... I have an Instagram. It's linked below if you'd like to follow it. I do post fairly often on it. Usually once a day. Well, some days I post multiple times a day, and sometimes I can go a couple days without posting. But it's fairly active. And I do, on my Instagram, I come across a lot of giveaways that are yarn-related or craft-related. And I always post them. When I enter them, I share them. So if you're following me on Instagram, you can you know see those and enter them too and maybe win some yarn and stuff. Also, um, I enter a lot to do with toddler stuff, because I have a toddler, and cross-stitch, because my sister cross-stitches, and if I win a cross-stitch thing, a needle monitor or whatever, uh, I'll give it to her, and she enters all the yarn-related ones for me. So, that's cool. But there are a lot of them. I'm, there's a bunch active right now, so it'll be linked below if you want to follow it. My Ravelry uh, profile page will be linked below if you want to add me as a friend or check out my projects or whatever. I'm trying to get better at updating all my projects on there, so if pretty much everything that I've been talking about since my podcast started is linked on there. So if there's a pattern I made before and you don't want to go through all my video descriptions to find it, it's going to be on my Ravelry uh, projects page. Should be. <laughs> and I'm getting better at updating that and taking pictures for it because I know a lot of the times designers want to use other people's pictures just you know to show other people how different how different it could look you know between the designer making it and three other people and then also linked below will be my Ravelry group which has like 12 members right now it's not very active at all um, but you know if you want to go on there and join it there's there are some uh, threads and I will be probably having <laughs> 
more than likely I will be having a giveaway pretty soon. I don't know, next couple of months. Uh, because I want to share with y'all and you know celebrate having a bunch of subscribers. I've almost got 200. I may have 200 right now. I don't know. But it's really close. It was like 196. No, 198 last time I looked. So I will be having a giveaway soon. And all of the stuff for the giveaway will be on the Ravelry group. So you will need to at least go to the Ravelry group to uh, enter the giveaway. But it's going to be a couple months probably before I get it sorted out because I still have to get prizes and such. And I might select more than one person to win. I don't know. I'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> but um, I'm pretty sure that is everything this time. I do have to get off of here and go see if Jesse wants to take a nap. He's laughing right now. There's no telling what he's doing. He had his sippy cup, so he's probably spilling water all over the floor. Okay, that's what he does. But I gotta go uh, clean up a yarn mess. I'm, I'm gonna try to show you. I don't know how good you're gonna be able to see it though. There is a ball of yarn wrapped around his toys right there. I gave him a ball of yarn to distract him while I film and it didn't work obviously because he still came over here. <laughs> and he has tangled it up against into some of his toys and it looks like around the couch leg. So I get to go detangle that and then re-roll it up. But I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and go see if he wants to take a nap. And then if he does want to take a nap, I'm going to work on my grease blanket. Because I'm trying so hard to get that banner done and not have to touch a bunch of red and white for a long time. Which, if Ger Ger Gerard, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting everybody's names. I think it's Gerard. I love watching your videos. He's the Hands Me Down podcast. I'll link it below. I love watching his videos. I was just watching his while working on my grease blanket before I started filming. Anyways, he made a YouTube play button pillow that I really want to make, but I'm going to wait to make it because it's red and white. It's mostly red, but there's some white on there. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go for sure now because I want to see if he takes a nap because he's a little grumpy. But anyways, um, like the video if you liked it. Leave some comments below. I love talking to y'all. And subscribe if you haven't already. Um... Thanks for subscribing if you already have. <laughs> and I will talk to you guys next Friday. Hopefully. Assuming nothing happens between now and then. And what's awesome is next Friday is almost a month before Halloween. It's the 29th. So woohoo. <laughs> but I will see you guys next Friday. Bye. Do you got mommy's toy? Are you throwing my pudding around? Do you have mommy's pudding? That's not cool. Ah, you saw the camera. You can't have the camera. <laughs> <laughs> you got mama's pudding and mama's ghost, huh? Whoop! Hi, what are you doing? You can't have the camera! Look, it's raining outside. You see the rain? So it ain't going, mama. Come on, let's look at the rain. Look, outside, you see the rain? Oh, it's raining. You don't need the camera. Yeah, give it to mama. <laughs> He's a stinker. He's a stinker. Yeah. What was this? Really? Poor Jack. Wow. Wow. Cool. That's a cool story. I love you. Oh, stinker.